I'm Stephen Leahy. I'm an international environmental journalist reporting here in Copenhagen for IPS. This is the last day of the Copenhagen climate talks and it looks like the deal may fall through, but we won't know until later this evening. When I first arrived here nearly two weeks ago, I was shocked that the negotiators were so far apart. They have been debating and discussing this issue for years and they seem to have made very little progress. I have to ask what have they been doing all this time at all the many meetings they've had. Now we are faced with uh, growing temperatures from climate change and with a political, a political stalemate between the rich and poor nations who seem to be unable to compromise at this, on this very important topic that it has implications for everybody in the world. What will come of this? There will be more meetings. They've already talked about having a meeting between now and next year where there will be another meeting in Mexico. That will be the COP16. So if you can imagine 16 years of negotiations and we still don't have an agreement. I hope uh, this one will turn out to be better than it looks like it is right now. Somehow at the last minute, the last hour, some people will make a compromise and provide us with the kind of emission cuts that we need to make in order to uh, keep global warming from going beyond two degrees. And at the same time, the rich countries have to understand the responsibility of helping the poorer nations find uh, financing and technologies to help them reduce their emissions and to adapt to climate change. I'm Stephen Leahy, reporting live here in Copenhagen at the final climate talks. Bye.